Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vlogtober. I have no idea what day it is for Vlogtober, but you'll see it on the title. I completely forget. I think 22, but don't quote me. It's the morning right now. I really need to wash my hair. Like it's, it's gross, but I have a nail appointment at 1030 in the morning. So I'm gonna wash it when I get back and I'm gonna test out my Dyson Airwrap for the first time. Never used one. And I'm gonna bring you guys along for my whole first impressions of using it. And let's see what my hair turns out like, because <laughs> I'm very curious. So we're gonna do that in a bit. I'm just gonna kind of organizing my apartment right now. Millie obviously isn't here, so it's a little bit easier to clean because she's not here just putting hair everywhere. So I'm probably gonna wash the floors. Vacuum again and just organize my life. Especially I wanna get my apartment nice and clean before I head to that little staycation getaway and then I'm going to a wedding, so. I just want my place to be nice and sparkly and clean. And sometimes when Millie's not here, it's the easiest time to do so. It's very difficult to wash the floors when your dog walks on it while it's still wet. I'm like, well, the paw prints are back. Yes, they're back. They, they never leave. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober so far. We are almost through it, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Like how insane. Time is freaking flying by. I don't know how we got here. Like how did how did it go by so fast? I'm like blinking and it's over. Time is flying. Anyways, I'm gonna continue organizing my life. My place is just a mess. But I organized my bathroom a bit. I just have to wipe down the counters. But I had to reorganize down here to fit my little Dyson air wrap. So now my air wrap goes here. That well, I need to go through that, I feel like, probably. Um, I also bought these clips off of Amazon to use when I style it because I was watching a ton of reviews and a lot of people said that you wanna like pin your curls up to dry and that'll make them last longer, like while you do your makeup, et cetera, et cetera. Just leave it out for a bit. So I'm like, why not try that out? I also just have this extra bin now. So I think I'm gonna put this in my pantry and organize stuff in here, like maybe like pastas, stuff like that, like keep them in this nice little acrylic bin. So I think I'm gonna do that. I also just have a little hair tie in here, great. So I'm gonna have to do that in a bit. Still need to make my bed, so. <laughs> it's just dark and gloomy today. It's not the vibe. I'm getting really down about this weather, but what can you do? Here you can see I organized my pasta in this acrylic bin. Honestly, it looks really good. I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that little acrylic bin moment. I'm just trying to organize everything. There is stuff everywhere, everywhere. And you know, it's just overwhelming me. I also packed up my old Dyson hair dryer because I'm gonna give it to my mom. I need to wipe down this counter. Why is the bathroom always dirty? Like I clean it and it's just dirty again. Also, this is my outfit. I'm wearing this sweater that I got from a brand thing. It's called by the brand Retiche. I think that's how you say it. And then I'm just wearing this black long tank top from Dynamite. It's so warm. I am just got these for like mostly like layering underneath sweatshirts for warmth. And then I'm wearing the TNA Butter Wide Leg leggings are super comfortable and that's the vibe right now i'm not wearing any makeup because i'm gonna take a shower literally when i get back from getting my nails done so it's pointless to do makeup <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna tackle this next well i really need to wipe down my, the bathroom i should probably actually do that guys i'm all ready now to go and get my nails done i will show you guys what they look like afterwards i'm getting them cut shorter square and I'm just getting shellac so they're just gonna be like little little painted nails. I don't know what color to do yet. I'm still I'm thinking probably I should just do nude because it'll just go with my dress but then the other side of me is like I want a dark nail because it's fall. And do I really care if my nails match my dress? No. It's not like I'm in the bridal party. Like it doesn't matter, you know? 
I feel like it doesn't matter. But we'll see. I gotta go though. I'm gonna be late. <laughs> are done I accidentally got the exact same color as my sweater like literally did not even mean to do that it's the exact same color I just got a shellac manicure they're super short and square but I honestly love them I'm probably just gonna keep doing this to be honest because it's just practical and it looks classy and good so I like it but my time of the month it decided to arrive with a vengeance, okay? I'm not doing well. I have really bad cramps right now. I'm making myself some macaroni and cheese <laughs> and a tea. And I'm gonna just sit down and edit for a bit before I do the Dyson Airwrap thing because I need to get rid of these cramps first before I do all that. Because right now I'm just not feeling hot. I'm not feeling great, okay? Periods off birth control pill are a whole nother world than when you're on it. Okay, when I was on it, no cramps, nothing. Off of it, it's, it hurts. <laughs> but it's okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a moment just working, sitting down for a bit. <laughs> I might take a Tylenol or something as well because it's painful, it's painful. Day one, never a good time. out the Dyson Airwrap. I'm so excited. So I need to rough dry my hair first because I know you're not supposed to use these unless your hair is like 80% dry. So I'm going to use the little blow dry one. I'm going to have to turn. I don't know. It's on air dry. Okay. I have to figure out how to like put these attachments in and do all this stuff because I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. We have the base and then this. goes in? Does it turn it all or do you just pop it in? Just down. Okay, I guess it's in. <laughs> I guess you just pop it in. Good to know. Oh. And I'm going to take it first just on the blow dry setting and rough dry my hair. Ooh. Okay, powerful. probably like 70% dry. Definitely it's still damp. I'm going to switch the attachment to the round one because I want to give myself like a bit of a blowout situation. Okay, these don't get too hot though, which is good. Okay. Let's try this one next. I'm going to clip my hair like half up for this. Whoops. So brush through it because whenever I rough dry my hair it gets super naughty. But that one pro I will say about that in the blow dry set, the blow dry head is that it's so much lighter than a regular blow dryer. Like I had the old Dyson blow dryer and it's heavy to hold. That is so light to dry your hair with. Like my arms are thanking me. Okay, I'm gonna just clip my hair half up because I got a lot of hair and I want to make sure I get this underneath part dry. I know that some people say that they curl it even with their hair like a little bit damp but I want to do like a bit of a blowout situation as well so we're just gonna try this and see how she goes. I'm gonna do medium high heat medium speed. I also never used one of these, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But here we go. Okay, I'm just 
Kristen. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Good start. I'm just gonna keep doing this and see what happens. just the blowout brush so I just kind of did like a little mini kind of blowout situation I don't really know just like a mini one you can see the ends are kind of bouncier than it would be when I normally blow out my hair so that's really nice I've never had it come out this bouncy just giving myself a blowout so honestly I'm really impressed I'm gonna do the curling setting now which I'm most nervous about I do have some pins here so I think I might pin some of my curls. I don't know if I want to. I want to kind of see how they last without me pinning them. I'm going to use the smaller barrel for this one. And I'm excited to see how she goes. I feel like this is the part that I'm most nervous about doing, like messing up. Because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be the hardest for me to get the hang of like a blow dry brush is pretty simple but actually curling it also okay this looks really good the hell i'm sorry did i just give myself a phenomenal blowout who is she look at that okay honestly i would just leave it like this but because <laughs> i want to try out the curling thing we're gonna use it so let's try it out i'm gonna clip my hair half up again because I have a lot of hair and there's gonna be a lot to curl I know you want to start at the bottom let it like grab the curl get it tight and then bring it to the top and I know it's like 15 seconds hot 10 seconds cold shot then release should I pin them or no I kind of want to just try it and see what happens first Okay, highest heat, highest um, thing, and I have it set to curl away from my face, I'm pretty sure. So let's get a key. Oh, this is cold. Okay, I have it set the wrong way. Go to one. Try again. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, so that curled that piece really well, but it wasn't the piece I was going for. <laughs> I'm like, this is really hard to get it to grab the hair that you want. Okay, there we go. Well, it's definitely really curling it. Like, look at that. Should I even pin that? Like, that thing is super curled. Okay, I gotta get try and get this little piece that does not want to grab. Come on. Okay, now I got these two super, super curls. That's what I like to call those. Super ringlet curls. Like, look at that. Jesus. Okay, let's try for this bottom piece. Bring the hang of it a bit. Super curl. 
curls. I'm very interested to see how these will turn out once they're like, they fall out, brush out, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm gonna look like Goldie, Goldie Rocks. The finished hair is huge. Can we just talk about how voluminous? <laughs> okay, this one piece though, I don't know what's going on. This, um, hello, I need to fix that. I don't know what's going on with that one, but it's looking a little bit wonky. Okay, that's better. Yeah, my hair is looking so bouncy. Like, I don't know if this is gonna fall out. I'm kind of, okay, what the heck? This piece of hair. <laughs> what is going on with this piece of hair? It's like curled, but it's so bouncy and it's right at the front of my face. It's driving me nuts. Okay, great. But the rest of it, it's so voluminous. Like, I'm assuming it's just gonna fall out as the day goes on, I'm gonna put like a little bit of oil in it, but I'm really liking it. It's like so bouncy. It gave me like way more volume than I feel like I've ever had in my hair, just curling it. Like my hair is so voluminous. Oh, look at that. Look at these little bang areas. I tried to like curl them, but they went a little bit super curled, but that's okay. Everything will just fall out anyways. I'm sure these curls will not stay this bouncy because curls never do, but they look super cute. I love it. Okay, like literally 10 out of 10. I need to show you guys. Look at my hair. I look like I got like a salon blowout but at home, it looks so good. And that was actually like super quick to do too. So I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I definitely wanna play around with it more and like figure out different ways to curl like my bangs, for example. Like I don't really know what's going on here. Like that's not really a vibe. <laughs> I need to figure that one out because it's looking a wee bit wonky. I'm probably gonna go over this with like the brush just to like smooth it out, but. Finishing up my work stuff for the day, but I wanna show you guys my finished hair. The only piece that it's a little wonky is this bang. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on with that. But other than that, it looks really good. I'm really liking like just the volume that it has. It has so much volume in it and it just feels really good. I'm gonna see what it looks like tomorrow. My curls don't typically last super well. Like, they never look the same the next day. They always fall out. These are definitely very, like, uniform curls too because I curled all the hair in the same direction. Moving forward, I might curl it in opposite directions just because I find when I do that, my curls last longer. But I feel like tomorrow, this is just gonna look like a really nice, like, blowout kind of look with my hair, with it, like, falling out, which I honestly love. I'm really happy with it. I feel like it looks really pretty. And I just loved having that round brush attachment. Like even more than this. Like this is great, but that round brush, game changer, okay? Give yourself a blowout at home. I love that. I'm making another tea because I'm freezing. I'm just finishing up my work, doing all my emails and stuff that I had to get done today. I'm going to Aiden's later. I think he's making me dinner because he told me to come at 6.30 and I'm just gonna assume if you tell me to come at 6.30, that we are eating dinner together because if not, then I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but I'm gonna head over there in a couple hours. So right now, I think I'm just gonna read a bit and have a tea because my work is done. I'm so happy I got everything done. Actually, that's a lie. I need to make a thumbnail. Make a thumbnail, upload a video that I need to schedule, and then, and then, <laughs> I can sit down, <laughs> so. Almost done, we're almost there. I'm packing to leave for Aiden's, but I've just been laying out some outfits. So I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. My favorite sweatshirt, I love that. And then some jeans, which is Uggs. I'm supposed to be comfortable everywhere that I'm going tomorrow, so I feel like this is a good fit. Though I may switch it out for my Levi dad jeans because the dad jeans are just 
the comfiest jeans ever. So I'm debating that. Then I have a fancier dinner at Casamoto that I'm packing for. So I thought this would be cute. I need to try it on tomorrow. So this is option one. And then my other option is this dress that I picked up from Zara. I think it's really pretty. Again, probably just with the boots. This is more like fall vibes though, and I kind of really love it. And I like that an all black look. I feel like you can't go wrong, but this is super pretty as well. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna just try them on and see which one I prefer. But I think this is really cute. And then I am gonna just bring one workout set. They are gifting us stuff like with the brand to wear, but I like to just pack stuff just in case like something doesn't fit me or what have you. So I just have a pair of leggings here and then a sports bra, both of them are from Story. And then I think I'm also might bring this set possibly just as another like cozy thing. I might actually wear that on the day that I leave possibly. We'll see. So this is like my thoughts right now on what to bring. And then I'm just gonna have to pack like a pair of workout sneakers. And then I'll probably just wear my little like Ugg Wild Wool shoes there. Cause they're super comfy with like my new bomber jacket that I've been wearing that I really love. Probably like just over everything. <laughs> so yeah, this is like the vibe. I have to try and fit everything into like a little carry on suitcase, but I feel like it'll look really cute. I really like this outfit. Let me know what you guys think of it. <laughs> you think a slice? Or not. <laughs> <laughs>